Hello boys and girls, it's time for our number job for today. So yesterday we started our lesson off by having a little look at some shape names. And we started with what we call our 2D shapes. And 2D, remember, means flat. These shapes are flat. Let's see if you know the name of this shape. Well done, it's a rectangle. Let's see if you know the name of this shape. It's a triangle. Did you get that one? Well done, triangle. What's the name of this shape? It's a circle. And our other 2D shape that is flat, it's a square. We've got our square shape. So we've got square, circle, triangle, rectangle. And if you had these at home, you could play splat the shape. Can you splat the square? Can you splat the triangle? Can you splat the circle? Can you splat the rectangle? So that would be a little game. If you don't have these shapes at home, you could draw them on a piece of paper and then see if you can splat the right shapes. And then you could challenge your adults. Can they get it right? Can they splat the right shapes? Now then, after we had a look at some 2D shapes that are flat, we had and starting to have a look at some 3D shape names. 3D shape names. So I'm going to bring them back in one at a time and let's see if you can remember the names of these shapes. Oh, and you remember what the name of this shape is? It's called a cylinder, cylinder, and it looks like our tin of beans. Take the lid off, and pour the beans out. It's a tin of beans, but the shape, its 3D name is cylinder. What about the name of this shape? Can you remember the name of this shape? So this shape is made up of lots of rectangles. And we said it was made up of lots of squares, two squares, one on each end. And we said it could almost be like a little box. It's called a cuboid, cuboid. So we've got our cylinder, cuboid. And you remember what this shape is called. So sometimes we might see it this way up. Then sometimes we might see it this way up. Can you remember? I'll give you a little clue. What you might eat your ice cream out of? A cone. That's right, this is a cone. Cone. So we've got three shapes now. Cylinder, cuboid, cone. Oh, oh, it's a prickly one, this one, with a point at the end. And then we have got our last shape we were looking at, made up of lots of squares it's called a cube cube so we have cylinder cuboid corn cube again cylinder cuboid corn cube cylinder cube corn cuboid, corn and cube. I nearly mixed the cuboid and cube up because they have similar sounds in them. I'm going to take two shapes away and I'm going to leave two shapes on the table like this. Can you point to the cylinder? Can you point to the cylinder? Which shape is the cylinder? I'm going to splat the cylinder now. It is this one. This is the cylinder. Excellent. Right, I would like you to now point to the cuboid. Which one is the cuboid? This is the cuboid. Right, I'm going to swap the shape. So I'm going to put in this shape. Can you point to the cylinder? Which one is the cylinder? I'm going to splat it now. This one is the cylinder. Which one is the corn? 
this one. I'm going to change the shapes. Oh. Can you point to the cuboid? Cuboid. I'm going to splat the shape now. This one is the cuboid. And then this one was the cube. That's right. Oh, we'll continue to play a little bit of that again at the start of tomorrow's lesson and see if you remember any of those shape names. Okay, so yesterday we were having a little look at length. So we looked at length, so we can show length like this, how long something is, and then we looked at the height. And we can show that this way, so height, how tall it is. Length, how long or how short it might be. Tall, height, small. Now then, we are going to, I'm going to use a dice to help us play a little game. And remember yesterday I had some cubes out and we were making towers. Well, I had two towers and one I asked you to point at the tallest tower and which one was the shortest, which one was the longest and which one was the shortest as well. So today I've got a dice to help me decide how big my tower is going to be today. So I'm going to roll a dice and whatever number it lands on, I'm going to build a tower that is that many cubes high. Ready? Ooh. It's landed on, what number's this? Number six. So I need to build a tower that is six cubes tall. One, two, three. Oh, that's a wobbly one. I'm going to swap that one. Three, four, five, six. So my tower is six cubes long. So then what we can do is we can have the tower like this and then I'm going to see if I can build a tower that is taller than this one and then a tower that is smaller than this one. So we need one that's taller and a one that is now smaller than this one. So we need one that's taller so to make it taller, will my numbers need to be bigger or smaller than six? If I need it to be taller, will it be bigger or smaller than the number six? I am going to keep building. Let's check. Oh, so it is just that little bit taller than the tower we started with. I'm going to add one more. So we can see clearly that this tower is taller and it's taller because there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes to make this tower. So I've managed to make a tower that is taller. So now I need to see if I can make a tower that is smaller. So I think I'm just going to use two little cubes. So now I have them in order from smallest all the way up to the tallest tower. So this is a little activity that you could have a little look at and try at home. If you don't have a dice in your house, you might want to see if your adult on their iPads or on their phones can download a little dice app and it will roll it for you on the computer. So the computer, when you click the button, will roll the dice and you can see what number it lands on. Then whatever number it lands on, you need to make a tower that is that tall. So mine was six, mine landed on six. So I made a tower six cubes tall and then see if you can make one that's taller than it and a one that is smaller than it. If you don't have cubes like this at home, you could use Lego. Have you got any Lego in your house? And you can stack the pieces of Lego. You might have wooden blocks. Anything that you use at home for building to make something that's tall in your house. 
So I'll let you choose what objects you use to help to make your towers today. And then you can keep rolling them and see what you land on and how big your tower is going to be and how you're going to make one taller and a one shorter. So that's a nice fun activity for you to try in your house. And then to help us measure length, how long and how short something is, last week we were having a little look at a story together and the story was called Jack and the Beanstalk. So I have got some pictures of beanstalks like this. So this one looks, when I look at this one, I can see straight away it's a very short beanstalk. It's very short. But I'm going to use the cubes. I'm going to lie it down like this, hopefully, so that you can see. Because it says, how many cubes tall is the beanstalk? So I'm going to now measure it. So I'm going to put some cubes. And when I start with my first cube, I've got to make sure that it's perfectly at the bottom and then stop when we get to the top and I can see that it's perfectly matching along the top it's perfectly level so how many cubes tall was this beanstalk how many cubes long was this beanstalk two excellent well done let's change the beanstalk it's going to grow a little bit more get a little bit longer so if the last one used two cubes we can see that this beanstalk is longer how many cubes do you think it might take can you have a little guess oh i'm having a look and the last beanstalk took two so i think i'm going to go with five cubes have you had a little guess let's see so perfectly at the bottom, one, two, three, four, keep going, five, oh, I said five and I still haven't got to the top yet, so I didn't get it right. If anybody guessed six, well done, it needed six cubes to measure the length of this beanstalk. So hopefully yesterday you were able to have a little look at measuring using we had paper clips out yesterday or you might have found some cubes as your measuring tool and you were able to measure the lengths of different things like shoe strings or um, pieces of ribbon I could measure the length of my tag so lots of different things that you could measure in your house if you hadn't haven't had a chance to do that you could have a look at that today so this beanstalk is even taller, it's even longer. If the first one, the small beanstalk, took two cubes, then the next one took six cubes. How many cubes do you think it's going to take to measure the full length of this beanstalk? I'm going to guess ten, I think, ten. Have you had a little guess before we start? See if you can make your prediction. Have a little guess. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine. Oh, I wonder if I might. I guessed right for this one. Did you get 10 as well? Did anybody else guess 10? Well done if you did. Well done if you guessed 9 or 11 or 8. That's very close to 10. So still really good guesses as well. But it took 10 cubes to measure the length of this beanstalk. Now then, I've got a really big challenge question to ask you before you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to close your eyes because when you open them, I would like you to have a think. You don't need to count them, but just by looking, tell me, wait a minute, keep your eyes closed, keep them closed, and then I'll ask you to open them. 
just setting it up now right open your eyes I've made three different piles of cubes so which one do you think looking at the size of the piles of cubes which one of these do you think will make the tallest tower so have a look which one's got the most do you think that would build the tallest tower if we have got the most cubes and which one do you think will build the smallest tower so having a little look just look at those piles which one do you think will bake the tallest tower and which one will make the smallest tower so i'm not going to tell you the answer i'm going to start building them and then you can have a look to see if you were right okay ready i'm going to start with this pile and then work my way along so i'm going to build them up now using the cubes that was in the pile okay right so there's the first tower so it's a medium sized tower and then i'm going to use the pile of cubes in the middle and make a tower and let's see if you're right let's see if you're going to be right have a look i'm going to build this tower oh keep going keep going let's see wow this is a really tall tower very tall and then i'm going to build the last pile which one then has become the tallest tower did you guess the pile in the middle it has become the tallest tower and that was because it had the most cubes just by looking we didn't need to count them and just by looking we could tell this one had the most cubes so it made the tallest tower did you work out correctly which one would be the smallest tower which one would be the smallest did you have a look at this pile over here that was here that's right and this pile made the smallest tower with only three cubes and that's because there was very little cubes in the pile and this one had a few more so well done today for having another little think about length and height how tall and short something is small something is and how long and how short something is today so if you want to play that game remember you can go and have a look for a dice see if you've got one on your ipad or on your adult's phone and have a roll of the dice and see if you can build different towers and then you might even try the game we've just had a little look at there make three different piles of your objects and see if you can guess get your adult to guess which one will build the tallest tower and which one will end up making the smallest, the shortest tower. And I'll see you tomorrow for another maths lesson. Goodbye for today and have a lovely afternoon.